What up techies, it's good to have you back. Since its launch in 2009, the James Webb Telescope has made some spectacular discoveries. The $8 billion telescope has officially confirmed the existence of exoplanets, and even captured an image of the first stars that formed after the Big Bang. But JWT's latest discovery might be its most groundbreaking yet, a water droplet on WASP-96b. Wait, what? Yes, you heard that right. It turns out that one of the hottest, driest planets in the known universe is somehow still managing to hold onto a bit of water. So what does this mean for our understanding of planetary formation? Keep watching to find out. When the first photographs of Webb were released, they highlighted an important event in astronomy. It became clear that our observatory could see beyond what is known as our galaxy. This was a momentous occasion because it allowed astronomers to study galaxies outside of our own for the first time. The pictures of Webb showed WASP-96b, a giant exoplanet about twice the size of Jupiter. This planet is made mostly of gas and is located in a star system about 1,000 light years from Earth. The pictures revealed that WASP-96b has a very hot atmosphere, with temperatures reaching 1,000 degrees Celsius. The high temperatures are caused by the planet's proximity to its host star. WASP-96b is also thought to have strong winds and clouds made of sulfuric acid. These conditions make it uninhabitable for life as we know it. However, studying this exoplanet will give us valuable insights into the formation and evolution of planets. It also helps us to understand how common habitable planets are in the universe. So far, astronomers have only been able to study WASP-96b from afar, but with the launch of Webb, we will finally be able to get up close and personal with this distant world. The second picture shown to us was of an alien world that we had tried to investigate in the past but we could only gather a limited number of results and pieces of data from our efforts. WASP-96b is the name of one of the more than 5,000 exoplanets that have been identified and confirmed to exist in the Milky Way. It is located in the constellation Phoenix, which can be found in the southern part of the sky. The distance between them is approximately 1150 light years. There is no planet in our solar system that can be compared to the gas giant that is WASP-96b directly. Its diameter is more than one and a half times as large as Jupiter's, but its mass is less than half of Jupiter's. The WASP-96b is greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, making it significantly hotter than an oven used for baking a cake. In addition, its overall size is significantly larger than any planet that orbits our Sun. The orbit of WASP-96b is slightly different from that of the Sun-like star it orbits. The difference is only about one-ninth of the distance that separates Mercury and the Sun. On Earth, one complete lap around the planet requires three days. Since we are already here, Let's take a quick look at the definition of spectroscopy to recognize molecules on faraway planets, such as water, methane, and carbon dioxide. After pointing the telescope in the direction of known exoplanets in the Milky Way galaxy, astronomers will then wait for the planets to pass in front of the stars that they are orbiting in order to obtain images of the phenomenon. For this method, known as transit spectroscopy, it is necessary for the starlight to travel through the atmosphere of an exoplanet before it can reach the spectrographs on board the Webb spacecraft. These spectrographs are essentially advanced versions of prisms that separate the colors of the visible spectrum from the light that passes through them. One aspect of this that I find particularly interesting is that some molecules, like water and air, can absorb particular colors or wavelengths of light. During the event, they revealed some of the most incredible findings that the powerful Webb telescope has made and will continue to make in the future. Research carried out at the Space Telescope Science Institute, which is responsible for the operation of the web, explains it positively by stating that every molecule has its own unique diet, which is essentially what is taking place here. The instrument can instead detect what the atmospheres of extremely distant exoplanets, or planets beyond our solar system are composed of. In NASA's event, it was revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope had detected the distinct signature of water on the hazy exoplanet WASP-96b. The first evidence is that water molecules exist in a world apart from ours. For 6.4 hours, the light from the WASP-96 system was measured by the Webb Telescope, which was constructed with Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, also known as NURSES. This occurred as the planet moved across the star. The transmission spectrum revealed the brightness change of individual wavelengths of infrared light between curves, confirming properties of the planet that had already been determined from other observations made by earlier telescopes. This resulted in a light curve showing the overall dimming of starlight during the transit. This light curve confirms the properties of the planet that had already been determined. The transmission spectrum acquired by the Webb spacecraft reveals details of the atmosphere that were not visible before, such as the unmistakable fingerprint of water, indications of haze, 
and evidence of clouds that were not previously believed to exist. The comparison of starlight that has been filtered through a planet's atmosphere as it travels across a star with starlight that has not been filtered when the planet is close to the star creates a transmission spectrum. Using this method, researchers can detect and measure the abundance of key gases present in a planet's atmosphere. The spectrum of Webb's transmissions portion of the electromagnetic spectrum has a heightened sensitivity to water and other essential molecules such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. These molecules do not immediately stand out in the spectrum of WASP-96b. Still, it is expected that we will be able to identify them in other exoplanets that we will observe with the Webb telescope in the future. Researchers can use this information to estimate the temperature, determine the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, and constrain the abundance of various elements such as carbon and oxygen using the spectrum. The blue light on the graph indicates a model that provides the best fit after considering the data, the known properties of WASP temperature, and the assumed properties of the atmosphere. The optimal fit best represents this model. To put it succinctly, the new data will answer many questions. And this is metaphorically speaking, just the beginning of it all. Because Webb was designed with the most cutting edge technology, we can obtain this data with a level of precision and clarity that is nothing short of astounding. Its gold-coated mirror performs exceptionally well in all aspects and is responsible for efficiently collecting infrared light because of its precision spectrographs. It can scatter light in the form of rainbows composed of thousands of distinct infrared colors. Its infrared detectors have a sensitivity that allows them to measure differences in brightness that are almost imperceptible on their own. The differences in brightness that can be distinguished between those colors are at most a couple of hundred parts per million. The extraordinarily detailed spectrum produced by simultaneously analyzing all 280 individual spectra captured throughout the observation only hints at what Webb has in store for exoplanet research over the next year. Using spectroscopy, scientists intend to examine the atmospheres and surfaces of dozens of planets that are not in our solar system over the next year. The composition of these planets will range from small rocky worlds to enormous ice-covered gas giants, depending on their size. The investigation of extrasolar planets and the constituents that make them up takes up a sizable portion of the first cycle of observations that Webb performs, which is also called Cycle 1 Observation Time. This period is dedicated to the study of astronomical phenomena. This section takes up approximately one quarter of the entire duration of the whole thing. This observation demonstrates that Webb can conduct the most accurate analysis possible of the atmospheres of exoplanets including those of planets with the potential to support life. The scientists developing the Webb telescope intend to point it in the direction of other worlds that might have less rugged terrain and be more analogous to our own. We have a very limited understanding of the potential extrasolar planets that may or may not exist in our galaxy, which may be home to well over a trillion of them. Researchers constantly discover new and exciting things, and the James Webb telescope has done it again. This time, they found a gas giant unlike anything in our solar system. WASP-96b is much hotter than any other planet and is significantly more bloated than any planet that orbits our sun. It's amazing to think about all the things we still don't know about space. What are your thoughts on the information obtained from JWT? What kinds of research into other exoplanets do you hope to see conducted by the web in the future? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all of the latest news about the James Webb Telescope and its new findings.